Amanda, this thanks so much started. for taking the time. I appreciate it. Um, and I guess, first of all, I just want to ask about the subject matter. You know, it is, we're, we're on the 20th anniversary today, and uh, it's really kind of interesting to be talking about a film like this that has such a emotional impact, I think, for any viewer. But can you just talk about your involvement with the film? So I am, um, I'm the VP of long form acquisitions at MSNBC Films. So, you know, really our role is to bring the film to the masses, to the audience and, you know, put it on the air so that everyone else can experience this remarkable look over the last 20 years. Yeah. So it is a really remarkable look because not only do we have sort of the, of the audio and video from almost 20 years ago when the individuals that participated um, were talking about their, the impact of that day, but we were able to revisit with some of them uh, and see sort of where they are today and the updates in their lives. Can you talk a little bit about that and your knowledge of sort of how that came to be? You know, I know that the directors and producers worked with, I mean, they, they, Bjorn and David, who are both the directors of the film, they looked at over 150 hours of archive from the artists, artist Ruth Sergil's work, which is 9-11 Voices or Voices of 9-11. And there's just the, an immense amount of people just sharing their testimonies. And then, you know, as they whittled it down into the film, they really realized that they really wanted to reconnect with the people that they had spent so much time together with, really watching their footage. And so, you know, like good directors and producers do, they get on the phone and they start researching and they find them and connected with them. And yeah. it's pretty remarkable to see people 20 years prior and today. I mean, everybody, first of all, looks amazing. I had to, I was just like, I just was like in awe of like how like they looked exactly the same in my opinion, you know, like a little bit older, but, and definitely wiser. And I think that's part of the beauty of the film is that 20 years later, we really get to see how they dealt with this immense tragedy and how they healed in, on, in some way um, and how they were able to survive and sometimes even thrive. I agree with you. As soon as I saw them come on screen, you could identify who they were immediately. They, they still look just like themselves. Um, I was just asking, you know, Bjorn mentioned in his intro at TIFF that uh, he had always wanted to make a 9-11 film and explore the story, but felt as though the story had been told in so many different mediums. But then the Voices of 9-11 project really uh, kind of spoke to him and became, you know, the focus, obviously, of the film that we're discussing. In your role at MSNBC, how important is that to continue to, you know, honor the victims and tell the story of 9-11, but also present new stories of the day? Well, I think it's really important to do that for all stories, right? Um, for all moments in history and for all moments of today and moving forward is to have the voice that, to have the people who experience the moment share their stories. Because it's like, I mean, obviously that's what documentary is and that's the only way in my personal opinion, you can get to the heart of what really happened. And for me, it's why I love documentaries is because it takes me inside of things that I have either witnessed from on a television set or maybe from afar. And obviously with 9-11, we all experience that on different levels in different ways. But, you know, for every experience we have as a collective, getting to hear from the people who experienced it firsthand, I think can really help us all be more empathetic. And I think that that's what's really great about this film is I just really learned so much from the participants. I learned so much about what it takes as a human being to keep going. And I think right now in the moment we're in right now, hearing how people keep going, I think is really important because right now we're in a pandemic and people don't know how to keep going in this moment. So being reminded that we can experience a, a tragedy, a, a probably the worst tragedy in American history um, and keep going. I think it's the perfect message for today. I would agree with that. And one of the other connections that they make, the, the filmmakers make in the film is to um, reference sort of the division of today near the end. Um, and I guess for, from your perspective, do you think there's lessons to be learned from 9-11 and the country coming together that could influence or impact our climate today, which is so divided? 
Yeah, I think, you know, it's an interesting scene in the film. It was so, you know, there's a moment in the film where someone says on September 12th, we've never, we were never more united as a country. And, you know, going back to that moment and thinking we really were. And I think it's because we had a, a collective trauma yeah. that we all experienced together. And we wanted to, to, I don't know how to say it, but we, we experienced that collective trauma together. Whereas recently the traumas haven't, felt collective yeah. it's like we're experiencing them in different ways and I think if we can get back to the moment where we're actually all in this fight together like COVID we're really all in it together it's not a separate trauma we're going through it together you know and what happened politically recently in the United States with the insurrection that was a collective trauma and if we can get back to remembering like we did on September 12th that we're all one and that we want to keep moving forward I think that is a way to move forward and heal. And I think it's something this film really reflects on. Yeah, I would agree. And it's interesting because I think it was earlier today that President uh, George W. Bush came out and said something similar to the fact that he remembers those days following 9-11 where the country was all united. Uh, and he hopes that we can get back to that. And um, that was really kind of poignant and interesting to hear, especially after just watching this film. Um, we joked a little bit before jumping on here, but um, you are no stranger to heavy subjects. And can you just talk a little bit about the emotional weight of, you know, putting together a documentary like this or championing a story like this uh, and sort of, you know, how you maintain the focus of a film when the emotion is so overwhelming? Well, you know what, honestly, I do what they do in the film. I share with people how I'm feeling and I share with people what the experience of making the film is or the experience of like with this film I, I got to watch the film you know cut after cut and I experienced it that way and what I do do is share with people how that affects me and I think that that's actually again one of the things from this film that is so important is the idea of speaking your truth in your moment and sharing how you're feeling and I think it can be really healing and we do in the documentary community deal with really dark subjects yeah. and I think that can make us you know at times be really, it can make us sad, you know? And it can also make us have a really dark sense of humor as well, to be completely frank. But so, I mean, you know, I think I just, I really, I lean on my friends, I lean on my family and I, I lean on my filmmaking community and we're all in it together. Well, I think Memory Box, Echoes of 9-11, you mentioned earlier about how great it was seeing the participants where they are today and being able to sort of see how they've continued to live life and move on. And I think that's, it's such an important film, um, even for, you know, the topic of 9-11 to go back and look at it through a different lens. So I just thank you for the time today and for bringing this film to us. Thank you. I really appreciate you watching and, and sharing it with the, with your audience. Absolutely. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye. Take care.